Hello everyone, this is my name is Eros and welcome to the view of Terminator Dark Fate. So Terminator Dark Fate is the sixth Terminator movie. <laughs> Why are there so many of these? I have no idea. But it is the latest installment in the Terminator franchise and apparently it is the true third movie in this story. So it just ignores the third, the fourth and the fifth that came before it. So Okay, fair enough. So what happens in this movie? Well, something happens in the first two minutes. I'm not gonna say what, but something happens in the first two minutes which makes Sarah Connor, the old OG Sarah Connor, kind of pissed. We then jump 22 years into the future, which means that what happened back then is pretty just nonsensical, but whatever. We jump 22 years into the future and we're now in Mexico for this girl called Danny. One day she gets attacked by a killer robot and then she is saved by a woman who is not a robot, but kind of a robot. Now I have to flee from this robot who's trying to kill Danny with all its might. And then they actually meet Sarah Connor, who for some reason out of the blue comes to their aid and tries to help them. And they together need to find out how Sarah Connor knew where they were going to be and also how they're going to defeat this monstrosity. So basically what you get is a Terminator movie. There's nothing new under the sun plot wise. So. What did I like about this movie? Well, first of all, the movie looks decent. I mean, the effects are actually quite good, especially considering this is an R-rated movie. So there's a lot of swearing, especially from Sarah Connor, there's a lot of swearing. Now, at some points, it does make her seem like a badass. And at other points, it just gets annoying as fuck. Well, the effects are decent, especially the new Terminator called Res... Nine? Res 8 or Res 9. He has this liquid metal outer layer that he can just detach from himself then he is two persons. He is one endoskeleton and then one pile of goo like T-1000 from the Terminator 2. Whenever he converts into this liquid form, it is done particularly well because of the way it reflects the light. It is just one of the higher tiers efforts that we have seen in movies recently. Now, good effects doesn't make a movie, so what else do I like about this movie? Well, some of the humor are actually quite good. There's not a lot of it, but some of it is good. Especially the humor that is delivered very dry by Arnold Schwarzenegger in the later part of the movie works well, surprisingly well. But it doesn't mean you're gonna be laughing a lot throughout this movie because this movie is trying to be extremely dark, hence the title. So it is not a comedy, but it does have some jokes here and there to kind of lighten up the dire mood. And also I have to say that the action sequences, or at least some of the action sequences, were extremely entertaining. and well thought out and just imaginative. Now the fight sequence where the robot attacked Danny wasn't that interesting. However, the car chase that followed was, for me personally, very interesting. And we have seen it sometimes before, a lot of times before, but that it brought an interesting spin to it. There's also an action sequence taking place on an airplane that I really, really enjoyed because we get to see people get thrown around inside this airplane and having a lot of difficulty to trying to get to their target or get to attack this robot or stuff like that. So that scene was probably the best action scene in this movie. And then of course there is the final, the final fight. Now some of it I didn't appreciate it because there was some missed opportunities. I will get to them later on. But for the most part it was a decent final stand. So the action sequence was decent but some of them was actually great. Now that being said, it's kind of hard to add more to it. I mean you don't really feel like you are using two plus hours of your time to watch the movie. So that's a that's a good thing because this movie is over two hours long, but you don't really feel it that it's over two hours long. So pacing is decent. I mean, it is going up and down in tempo, but that's just how movie works. But it doesn't really bother you as much as it could have. Now that being said, there are some things I didn't like about this movie. I mean, there are other aspects that I liked about this movie, such as the simple story that was easy to follow. The movie doesn't try to be something that it isn't. The introduction of new strong female characters, even though at some point it does feel forced, but there are other aspects that I liked about this movie, but it's not worth praising considering what I didn't like about this movie. Now, first of all, I'm getting pretty fucking tired of just reusing the same fucking plot over and over and over again in these movies. Okay, it was fine in the first one, it was the original one. It was fine in the second one because it was with a twist. Now the villain from the former movie is coming back to save John Connor. Cool. Third one, not as much. Then the fourth one and the fifth one. Uh, let me just, 
here's the plot of this movie. And I know I just said it, but 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 hear me out. The first one. A robot comes from the future to the past trying to kill an important person. Another person from the future comes to the past to try to defend this person from this killer robot. Second movie. A robot from the future comes to the past to kill an important person. Now a robot comes from the future to the past to try and defend this important person against the killer robot. The third movie. A robot comes from the future to the past to try and kill this important person. Now a second robot comes to the past to try to defend this important person from the killer robot. Now the fourth movie is the one that stands out because it takes place in the future. We're actually trying to get to see some of the beginning of the big war against human and machines. And I like that idea. Now some people might hate this movie. I actually kind of enjoy it, but it's not that it's a good movie. I just feel like it has entertainment value. But that's just besides the point. This is the only movie that stands out because this is just humans and machines fighting each other. The fifth movie, you see a killer robot coming from the future to the past to try and kill an important person. And then the future sends back, this time, a human to defend this important person from the killer robot. Yes, there was a decision from other good guy robot now, but you get the point. And now, this movie. Guess what happens? You're right. Killer robot from the future travels to the past to kill an important person. And then... Another human being from the future, with some enhancement in her, travels to the past to defend this person from the killer robot. We have seen it so many times before and I'm getting tired of the same uses of... The Why? Now I know that we need to use the Terminator somehow, but instead of just keep rehashing the same plot over and over again, then maybe give the fans what they want, which is a movie taking place in the war in the future. Because then you won't have the same plot as you have had in the other 450 movies. So that is one issue I have with this movie. Now, the second issue I have with this movie is the acting. Now, the acting, for some parts, is okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger does an okay job. And the rest of them does an okay job. Some parts of the movie. But for other parts of the movie, especially when we are getting to the more dramatic and heavy scenes, everything falls apart. Anytime someone wants to express some kind of emotion, they do a shit job. And it really just take you out of the movie. It is annoying as fuck and I just, I just hate it. I really hate it because they were doing fine if they just brought the fine level of acting to these scenes, it would have been fine. But unfortunately, it isn't. Then there's this woman from the future. Now, I don't mind that we have another strong female character in this franchise. We have Sarah Connor. Now we have... I can't remember her name. It doesn't matter. But oftentimes than not, she kind of becomes a Mary Sue. Now, they tried to explain this away in the movie. That she, with her enhancement, can boost her physical levels I and mean, metabolism to an insane degree for three minutes, and if she hadn't done what she needed to do in three minutes, then too bad, because then she's gonna die, and they're trying to find a way around to make sure that she doesn't die, so they can do it later on. Now, don't mind that, that's actually an interesting aspect of it. The only problem is that they often use it to just show how badass she is, which her action throughout the action sequences should be enough to do. And also, this time constraint comes up never. And I don't mean that she doesn't feel the consequences of using this power. What I mean is that there's no action sequence where she runs out of juice and now they have to make do with what is left. By having this woman literally dying on you while trying to fight off the bad robot. None of that comes up, which is the only way to make these action sequences more interesting. It is fine that you have one or two action sequences where she's just kicking ass. But since she has installed this constriction on her, Fucking use it! And then there's the whole thing that they are not just rehearsing the old plots. They are rewriting them. It is the same move that you've seen before. I'm not gonna spoil the twist in this movie, but... <sighs> yes, it is an interesting idea and it does kind of pay with the whole faith thing. Yes, I get that. But still, all they've done is just changing some names here and there and then call it a movie. And then there's the thing with Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator. I, um, I didn't like it. Now, it doesn't mean that they couldn't have used it in a more interesting and meaningful way, but the way they presented it and the reason for his character traits is utter bullshit. It's really utter bullshit. And the most frustrating thing is that when they try to explain it, you actually see a more interesting idea lingering in there that they just didn't use because they just wanted him to be good. But we've seen him be good before, but the reason that he's good now is just all the bullshit. And I didn't like it, and it didn't fit into the plot, didn't fit into the characters, it didn't fit into the movie. It's just poorly done, and you don't buy it at 
all. Now I've been beating this around the bush a lot. And by that I mean I haven't talked about the first part of the movie. Now, if you can ignore the first two, maybe three minutes of the movie, the next part or the rest of the movie is going to be fine. You're going to be mildly entertained, especially by the action sequences. And also seeing Sarah Connor being a badass, it is entertaining to watch. But the first three minutes, if you're a fan of the series, at least the fan of the first, let's say, two or three movies, is going to be a very hard pill to swallow. Especially considering that... The uses of it, it, it is just piss poor decisions. Now, some may say that it is a motivator for Sarah Connor's arc in this movie. But I will just say that it's them trying to do some shock value for the sake of shock value. To trying to say this is how it's going to be from now on. Now, I don't have any way of proving that. But it is just ballsy of them to piss on a franchise that much that late. And as I said, if you can't get past the first three minutes, if you can't accept that, then the rest of the movie is going to suck even more. If you can, just put it aside, forget everything about it, even though that movie kind of brings it up here and there, you will have an okay time. But what pisses me off most about this movie is the fact that it doesn't really amount to do anything. The comments is nothing. It doesn't really utilize the new Terminator very well. As I said before, he can now split into two, which is a terrifying power because now he can attack from two sides or he can fight off two protectors at once or he can even fight off a protector while the other half is chasing the important person. But they don't really use him enough and it's... Uh, and the plus is just... Basically, they need to get to this place. There's not that much of a venture in between. Then deciding that need to get to this place and then getting to this place. And then afterwards, it is just kind of a stall. So we can get to the end, but we need to be at certain points throughout the plot so that we can justify the end. But it doesn't change the fact that this movie shouldn't exist because it does nothing for the franchise. It does nothing interesting with the franchise. It absolutely just pisses all over the legacy. And it's just a Stupid reason for James Cram to say, no, this is the real third one. I actually prefer the original third one, Rise of the Machines. Now, again, it is not the best movie. I agree with that. But it has a similar villain, and more importantly, at least it had a justifiable ending. The ending was actually the apocalypse, the judgment day. So we actually were going to get to the future war. But here, it is... Uh... So what I'm really doing here is just batting around the bush. So... I will say that with this movie, you're going to get some decent action scenes. You get some, get some decent visuals, some fine jokes here and there. And you don't feel like you're sitting there as long as you really are. Unfortunately, the strong female character in the new one is forced sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes she's actually legit badass. You feel that it is earned. The story is garbage. It's just his own legacy. It does nothing interesting with these characters. We have seen the plots too many times before and all in all this movie is too predictable because we know what beats it's need to touch on before we get to the final fight. Because, as I said before, we have seen it four times before. So, I will say that with precautions that Terminator Dark Fate you should catch it on Netflix my experience. And that is only if you can ignore the first three minutes. If you can't, then I will just say that this is a waste of time. But for me personally, I thought it was a my experience, but I was only really entertained in the action scenes. Besides that, I didn't give two shits about the characters or the plot in this movie. So, Terminator Dark Fate, have you seen it? What do you think about it? And what is your favorite Terminator movie if we just take the Terminator 2 Judgment Day to the side? Many of you will probably say the first one. I can kind of agree to that, but I personally still think that Salvation is just too damn fun. It is not a good movie, but I just feel like the action sequences and the high octane just, it just flows well. The ending was push it, but that's besides the point. So, whatever you think, comment below with me your thoughts. And as always, until I see you in the next video, remember to stay awesome! Bye! Do 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 do. Do 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 do.